Paul Hawken, Drawdown, the most comprehensive plan ever proposed to reverse global warming. Immerse yourself in the pressing issue of global warming and explore how to turn the tide by diving into Drawdown, a comprehensive roadmap to reverse the devastating effects of climate change. Authored by Paul Hawken, this book offers a deep understanding of numerous solutions, including renewable energy, sustainable agriculture, forest protection, and innovative technologies like e-cars, ocean farming, and carbon air capture. Packed with actionable insights, this thought-provoking summary offers a must-read blueprint to a brighter future, where progressive ideas save money, create jobs, prevent pollution, and improve overall human health. Reversing Global Warming Today Alexander von Humboldt, a Prussian polymath, first observed the detrimental impact of human activities on the environment in 1829, unveiling the potential for future problems like global warming. With carbon emissions continually surging, global warming could cause temperatures to escalate by 4 degrees Celsius by the century's close. Consequently, wildfires, droughts, and sea level rise may lead to mass migration and political instability. To counteract this predicament, humans must adopt a two-pronged strategy, reducing carbon dioxide CO2, emissions and promoting processes for eliminating existing atmospheric CO2. The existing tools, such as renewable energy and sustainable agriculture, already offer promising solutions with additional benefits, including cost savings, job creation, and improved public health. In 1829, Alexander von Humboldt, a talented Prussian scientist, astutely observed the harmful consequences of humans on their surroundings, particularly in agriculture and industrial practices. Today, one such consequence, global warming, is gaining widespread attention due to its far-reaching effects on the planet. With predictions estimating a 4 degrees Celsius temperature rise by the end of the century, destructive possibilities lie ahead. Climate change is causing wildfires, droughts, and sea level rise, which in turn can trigger mass migration and violent conflicts. The primary cause of global warming is carbon emissions released by various human activities, such as burning fossil fuels, generating cement, and farming. As humanity's carbon emissions continue to grow at an alarming pace, it is no longer sufficient to merely slow down or reduce these emissions. The goal should be to achieve drawdown, the point where greenhouse gases reach their peak and commence a steady decline. To accomplish this, we must concentrate on reducing CO2 emissions and catalyzing processes like natural photosynthesis that decrease atmospheric CO2 levels. Fortunately, we possess the tools needed to reverse global warming. These methods include renewable energy, forest protection, sustainable agriculture, electric cars, ocean farming, and carbon air capture. Implementing these solutions offers numerous advantages beyond reversing global warming, such as saving money, creating jobs, reducing pollution, and promoting healthier lives. By focusing on these innovative, no-regrets solutions, we can combat climate change and work towards a brighter, more sustainable future. Harnessing Renewable Energies Electricity generation predominantly relies on burning fossil fuels, contributing to global warming. However, advancements in renewable energy technology present promising solutions. Wind and solar energy offer clean, efficient alternatives, already supplying a significant share of some countries' electricity needs. To accelerate this transition, we must invest in research, improve energy storage and transmission, and redirect subsidies from fossil fuels to renewables. The majority of the world's electricity is generated by burning fossil fuels like coal, gas, and oil, leading to excessive carbon emissions. As we strive to reduce global warming, embracing alternative energy sources becomes imperative. The sun, wind, and water offer vast reserves of renewable energy that are becoming increasingly accessible with advancing technology. Wind energy leads the clean energy movement, offering efficiency, scalability, and affordability. For instance, a single rotation of one offshore wind turbine near Liverpool, England, can provide enough electricity to meet a household's daily needs. 
Denmark exemplifies the potentials of wind energy, powering 40% of its electricity through this renewable source. If other nations follow suit, onshore wind energy could cater to 21.6% of global energy needs by 2050, reducing carbon dioxide emissions by 84.6 gigatons. Solar energy emerges as another critical renewable resource, currently preventing 330 million tons of CO2 emissions annually. Solar panels harness the sun's rays, converting photons into electricity. These panels can create large-scale solar farms or be deployed as independent rooftop microgrids, offering power to the 1.1 billion people who lack access to centralized power grids. A significant challenge in transitioning to renewable energy lies in optimizing storage and distribution systems, as much energy is lost during conversion or as waste heat. Cogeneration systems can repurpose this excess heat, providing district heating, hot water, and ventilation. Lastly, prioritizing research, development, and funding for renewable energy technologies is essential. With the fossil fuel industry receiving $5.3 trillion in subsidies in 2015, reallocating these resources toward cleaner energy alternatives could propel us towards a more sustainable and eco-friendly future. Embracing Plant-Based Living Historical figures like Buddha, Confucius, and Leonardo da Vinci advocated for plant-based diets. Today's meat-centric diets contribute to 20% of greenhouse gas emissions. A shift towards vegetarianism could reduce carbon emissions drastically, and adopting sustainable farming techniques like agroforestry and silvopasture could substantially reduce CO2 release. Cutting down on food waste is equally crucial in combating greenhouse gases. Throughout history, influential individuals such as Buddha, Confucius, and Leonardo da Vinci emphasized the benefits of plant-based diets. Unfortunately, this ancient wisdom hasn't resonated with modern society, where meat consumption is at an all-time high. This meat-centric approach is taking a toll on our environment, accounting for 20% of greenhouse gas emissions, which come not only from the animals themselves but also the agriculture required to support them. The solution is clear, to reduce our environmental impact, we must eat less meat and consume more plant-based foods. Adopting a vegetarian diet could decrease carbon emissions by a whopping 63%. So how can we make this shift? Promoting plant-based diets through public campaigns and reframing meat consumption as a luxury rather than a necessity are good starting points. Even if we only manage to reach half the population, we could potentially save 66 gigatons of carbon emissions by 2050. But eating more plants alone isn't enough we must also change how we grow them. Conventional agricultural practices focus on monoculture crops, deplete soil resources, and release significant amounts of carbon into the atmosphere. On the other hand, sustainable farming methods like agroforestry prioritize complex plant communities, enriching soil instead of draining its nutrients and emitting significantly less CO2. These practices consider nature as an interconnected system, wherein each plant and animal species benefits from the presence of others. Silvopasture, a centuries-old agroforestry system practiced in Spain and Portugal, provides an excellent example. Here, cows are allowed to graze within forests instead of deforested land, utilizing trees as shade and sequestering carbon to counterbalance methane emissions. A global 60% increase in silvopasture implementation could save 31.1 gigatons of carbon emissions by 2050. In addition to adjusting our diets and farming practices, we must address the alarming rate of food waste. Although 800 million people worldwide suffer from hunger, one-third of produced food never reaches our plates. High-income countries permit retailers to discard food based on superficial flaws, while unclear best-before dates confuse consumers, causing needless waste. This squandering of resources directly contributes to greenhouse gas emissions. By reducing food waste by 50% within the next three decades, we could prevent 26.2 gigatons of carbon emissions from entering our atmosphere. By embracing plant-based diets, 
adopting sustainable farming techniques, and reducing food waste, we can make a significant impact on carbon emissions and help protect our environment for future generations. Urban Climate-Friendly Solutions Urban cities, often seen as the antithesis of nature, have the potential to be the leading agents in adopting climate-friendly approaches for water, energy, and lighting. Energy-efficient buildings can contribute significantly in cutting emissions, with insulation, green roofs, and electrochromic glass being some of the effective ways to reduce energy consumption. Cities can further decrease their carbon footprint by encouraging sustainable transportation methods like cycling and walking. Lastly, improving infrastructure for the distribution of electricity, water, and heating through localized grids can contribute greatly to an eco-friendly urban environment. Contrary to the belief that cities are incompatible with nature, densely populated urban centers hold immense potential to lead the way in adopting climate-friendly solutions. From energy-efficient buildings to improved infrastructure for transportation and utilities, cities can drastically reduce their carbon footprint and become beacons of sustainable living. One of the key aspects of creating a climate-friendly city is focusing on energy-efficient buildings. Several options, such as insulating walls and ceilings with materials like fiberglass or repurposed newspapers, prevent temperature fluctuations, thus reducing the dependency on heating and air conditioning. Green roofs, covered with plants, sequester carbon and help maintain cooler temperatures within the buildings. Buildings can also benefit from electrochromic glass that adapts to the time of the day, thus saving on heating and lighting. The collective adoption of energy-efficient technologies, example LED light bulbs, in buildings across the globe by 2050 could result in saving up to 12.8 gigatons of carbon emissions. Implementing these climate-friendly technologies in cities can begin by making them a requirement for new buildings, while retrofitting older structures to be more energy-efficient. For example, by merely insulating its windows, the Empire State Building reduced its energy consumption by 40%. In addition to energy-efficient buildings, cities can significantly reduce their carbon footprint by promoting sustainable transportation options like public transport, cycling, and walking. Enhancing bike lanes and creating walkable neighborhoods that integrate residences, retail outlets, and recreational spaces would encourage reduced car usage and foster healthier, happier communities. If global cycling rates were to reach 7.5 percent by 2050, an impressive 2.31 gigatons of carbon emissions could be eliminated. Lastly, cities need to focus on improving the distribution of electricity, water, and heating to minimize energy losses and overproduction. Localized grids, such as Copenhagen's heating system that utilizes waste heat from nearby power plants, can greatly increase efficiency. By adopting localized heating and raising its usage from the current 0.1% to 10% globally, we could potentially thwart 9.38 gigatons of carbon emissions by 2050. Revolutionizing transport for greener future Mobility is a crucial part of our lives, but it significantly contributes to carbon emissions. To combat this, industries are introducing innovative solutions such as designing more fuel-efficient planes, slow-steaming ships, promoting hybrid and electric vehicles, and enhancing public transportation systems. By adopting these eco-friendly alternatives, we can actively participate in the global fight against climate change, reduce traffic congestion, and minimize pollution. Our desire for mobility drives us to travel and explore the world around us. However, most transportation modes like cars, buses, planes, and ships depend on burning massive amounts of fossil fuels, contributing to increased CO2 emissions. To address this, we must focus on improving fuel efficiency via new designs, technology upgrades, better maintenance, and monitoring. Air travel accounts for 2.5% of global carbon emissions, and with its growing popularity, this figure is expected to rise. Boeing and NASA are combating this by working on an aircraft designed to be 50% more fuel efficient. By placing the engine in the rear and using slimmer wings, this new aircraft is lighter and more aerodynamic. Shipping is another significant contributor, responsible for 3% of carbon emissions. One effective way to cut fuel consumption in this industry is slow steaming, 
which involves a reduction in operating speed. Cars, trucks, and buses lead the pack, however, accounting for 25% of all greenhouse emissions. Merely decreasing engine size or using lighter materials may not be enough, replacing them with electric alternatives is the way forward. Until electric technology is fully developed, hybrid cars, which combine an electric motor with a regular combustion engine, serve as a viable alternative. These vehicles are about 30% more fuel efficient, and government subsidies make them even more attractive to consumers. Additionally, we should invest in mass transportation, such as buses, metros, and high-speed rail services. Where these options are affordable, efficient, and seamless, they can replace the cultural appeal of individual cars, thus reducing emissions, traffic, and pollution. Ride-sharing, e-bikes, and e-scooters are other eco-friendly options that can help lower the carbon cost of commuting. Affordable and accessible through numerous mobile apps, they make it more appealing than ever to leave personal vehicles behind. In conclusion, the quest for greener transportation involves multiple stakeholders and innovative strategies. By embracing these sustainable alternatives and engaging in conscious decision-making, we all can contribute to a cleaner, greener future. Protecting ecosystems to combat warming Reducing carbon emissions is only one part of the battle against climate change. Protecting and restoring carbon-absorbing ecosystems, such as forests, coastal wetlands, and peatlands, is essential to reverse global warming. Forests, containing 300 billion tons of carbon, are crucial but deforestation threatens their existence. Brazil, however, showcases forest protection efforts that result in slowed deforestation and restoration. Passive and active restoration of forests can help further. Additionally, conserving coastal wetlands and peatlands contribute to mitigating carbon emissions. Collaborating with indigenous communities, who follow sustainable land management practices, ensuring their land ownership and involvement will significantly benefit the fight against climate change. Ever thought about the crucial role ecosystems play in fighting climate change? While reducing carbon emissions is important, harnessing the power of ecosystems that naturally absorb carbon is key to reversing global warming. Take forests, especially rainforests, for instance as they are home to numerous species and store a whopping 300 billion tons of carbon. However, deforestation is a massive concern, with 15 billion trees lost every year, contributing to at least 10% of annual carbon emissions. Brazil has shown the world how strong enforcement policies and sustainable development projects can make a difference. Since 2004, the country has been investing in forest protection efforts, leading to decreased deforestation and restoration progress. By leaving deforested land alone through passive restoration, we could witness 235 million acres of forest come back to life by 2050, avoiding the emission of 22.61 gigatons of carbon. Actively planting seedlings is another vital method. Other essential carbon-absorbing ecosystems include coastal wetlands like marshes, meadows, mangroves, and peatlands such as bogs and mires. Peatlands, for example, are home to twice as much carbon as the world's forests mapping, monitoring, and preserving these ecosystems are our responsibility. Indigenous people, who are greatly impacted by climate change yet least responsible, can be invaluable partners in protecting ecosystems. Their traditional land management, agroforestry, and pastoralism pave the way towards a sustainable future. Conservation agreements, granting land ownership, and returning native lands to indigenous communities not only ensure their well-being but also contribute to safeguarding these vital ecosystems for generations to come. The refrigerator's hidden impact. Your refrigerator might be doing more harm to the environment than you think, due to the use of hydrofluorocarbons. HFCs, in its cooling mechanism. These harmful chemicals release 9,000 times more heat into the atmosphere than a single CO2 molecule. In 2016, an international conference of 170 countries agreed to phase out HFCs by 2024, a move that could potentially reduce carbon emissions by 90 gigatons and decrease global warming by a full degree Fahrenheit. However, the danger of refrigerants is greatest at disposal, making their removal a difficult process. 
Other materials we use every day, such as cement and plastic, also need to be replaced with more environmentally friendly alternatives. One of these alternatives is making cement from fly ash, a byproduct of burning coal, as it emits far less carbon. Plastic can be produced using food or paper waste instead of fossil fuels. Finally, incentivizing recycling through governmental policies can help reduce overall waste and promote eco-friendly solutions like those demonstrated in San Francisco. Empowering change through education. Governments, businesses, and organizations all play a crucial role in addressing climate change, but lasting progress also depends on the actions of individuals. Sustainable farming techniques, such as the Climate Friendly System of Rice Intensification, SRI, can significantly reduce carbon emissions and foster environmental sustainability. However, cultural barriers and ingrained practices can make change challenging for farmers. To overcome these obstacles, peer-to-peer -peer education, public campaigns, and information sharing must be employed. Women, who make up 43% of the agricultural labor force, need to be empowered with access to resources, tools, and training. Prioritizing girls' education is equally important in reducing carbon emissions, as an educated female population tends to have fewer children and show greater awareness of the importance of family planning. Pioneering Climate Solutions Emerging technologies are striving to reverse the adverse effects of climate change by lowering carbon emissions, protecting our oceans, and removing atmospheric carbon dioxide. Autonomous cars, when combined with eco-friendly technologies like electric engines and smart traffic routing, can reduce vehicle emissions. Ocean reforestation, using techniques like marine permaculture, can nurture ecosystems and combat ocean desertification. Direct Air Capture, DAC, is also being developed to efficiently convert atmospheric carbon dioxide into fuel, helping to reduce the overall atmospheric carbon content. By implementing these technologies and policies on a global scale, humans have the opportunity to create a positive impact on our planet's environment. As we explore the realm of innovative climate solutions, it's essential to recognize the pioneering technologies that hold the potential to alter our planet's future. When considering self-driving cars, the key to unlocking their climate-friendly potential lies in combining these vehicles with low-emission technologies like electric motors, ride-sharing, and smart traffic routing. By doing so, we can significantly reduce fuel consumption and, consequently, carbon emissions. Our oceans can't be overlooked in the quest for climate solutions. Bearing the brunt of half the CO2 released into the atmosphere and absorbing over 90% of the Earth's heat, the ocean's surface waters have become barren deserts, devoid of marine life and vegetation. The solution? Reforesting oceans using kelp and phytoplankton, miniature plant organisms that serve as food, fertilizer, and biofuel to our underwater world. Through marine permaculture, we can cultivate these microorganisms and revitalize entire ocean ecosystems, teeming with algae, fish, seals, and sharks. Another game-changing technology is direct air capture, DAC. Mimicking the natural process of photosynthesis, DAC systems aim to capture carbon dioxide directly from the atmosphere and convert it into fuel. The challenge lies in the fact that the air's carbon content is a mere 0.04%, meaning the current process is lengthy and energy-consuming. If we can develop more efficient DAC technology, it could be a significant step toward reducing atmospheric carbon levels. Ultimately, these groundbreaking technologies offer hope for the future of our planet, even as contemporary society struggles with the Anthropocene era's environmental domination. By harnessing these technologies and implementing impactful policy changes worldwide, we can reverse the damage we've caused and restore Earth's delicate balance. While climate change poses a major crisis, it also gives humanity the chance to prove we can rise to the challenge and create a healthier planet. Having delved into Drawdown, we can embrace hope as we combat climate change and environmental degradation. The book shares an array of tools and strategies, ranging from renewable energy sources like solar and wind power, to promoting healthier diets, enhancing urban planning, and implementing cutting-edge technologies. 
It highlights the significance of collaboration between governments, businesses, organizations, and individuals. As we work towards reversing global warming, it's crucial to harness the power of innovations, education, and policies to reshape our world for the long-term survival of humanity and our planet.